A new study reveals a chemical that can be harmful to your health is found in water in 43 states. The Environmental Working Group says PFAs, which are chemicals used in consumer products like firefighting foam and non-stick cookware, can be found in 610 locations across the country, and that includes drinking water for about 19 million people. For more on this now, we're joined rather by David Andrews, a senior scientist for the Environmental Working Group. So I read sort of the article on this report and it is scary because we're talking about a problem basically across the country. David, how significant are the results of this study? Well, this is this is this should be frightening to all Americans in many ways um, because these chemicals, these are the Teflon or Scotch gutter chemicals, as you mentioned, they're common in firefighting foam. They're they're stain repellent, but they don't break down in the body and they don't break down in the environment and they actually stick to our blood. So levels tend to increase over time. So then are we seeing levels within our bodies? Are we finding children with this stuff in them? And how could it potentially affect our health? How is it affecting our health? Right. Th these chemicals are actually found in everyone in, this, in, in the United States, just about everyone in the entire world. And, and exposure to these chemicals really can, can impact a lot of different health systems, cause numerous health harms, everything from testicular to kidney cancer, harm to the liver, harm to the thyroid. Uh, it, it actually impacts childhood development, low birth weight, um, and it actually can impact the immune system and, and reduce the effectiveness of vaccines. So, so it's really actually frightening how many different um, health systems, um, different organs these chemicals can, can cause harm to. Is this the sort of thing that can be filtered out with a, a Brita filter? I know my refrigerator, sort of the water part of it comes with a filter. Does that, do these filters make any sort of difference? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And actually a Brita type filter will help a little bit. Um, so, so, that, so there is some hope there. If there is known contamination where you are, um, you may want to look into a more comprehensive filter, a reverse osmosis filter. But a carbon filter, a Brita filter, that, that will actually help and, and will reduce the levels um, typically. So then, according to your report, Michigan has the most locations. And you, you guys have this great sort of interactive map where you can check out your own state and see the locations of concern and whether we're talking about a military base or drinking water. But Michigan has 192 locations in just that one state. Is this because uh, they have more efforts to test? Is it that they're testing these PFAs more there and so they're identifying the problem? Or is it that they really do have more of a problem than anywhere else? So in large part, it's because they're identifying the problem. Mm. They're, they, they're really getting out ahead of other states and trying to understand the scope and the magnitude of this contamination. And, and what they found is that it's much bigger than they even expected. And, and I think that's a result we're going to see across the country as more states do additional testing. And, and so we're actually supporting a lot of legislation at the state and federal level to really um, understand the scope of this problem and set legal limits in drinking water. We think everyone has a right to safe and clean drinking water. That's what I want to ask you about. I, I, like, I'm sure there's no like minimum level of like a safe number of PFAs in your drinking water. But what's the FDA doing? I mean, are they keeping track of this stuff? Do they have a level that they've said is acceptable versus unacceptable? Right. So, so, and actually, it's the Environmental Protection Agency has set a health advisory value, but it's not a legally binding limit. Hmm. And so, it, and part of the problem is they actually have not set a legal or a new legal drinking water limit for any contaminant in over two decades. So the whole system of regulating drink chemicals that may end up in our water and setting limits is broken. And, and the agency is really falling behind the science here it, in terms of... So, no, go ahead, in terms of... In, in terms of just how, how different contaminants, including these PFAs or PFAS, as well as other emerging contaminants and how they're impacting our health. Yeah, you know, it just there's some things that are sort of synonymous with purity, right? Water, like you tell your children to drink more water and put the soda down. This is a, a sign of being healthier. And then to hear you talk about just how dangerous our water could be is heartbreaking. And I can't believe we're not doing more about it, but you're raising the alarm and that's really important. David, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you.